Good day guys, welcome to another episode on School and Air. I'm your instructor for today and today we'll be taking basic science. The topic for today is light energy. At the end of today's lesson, you should be able to explain reflection, refraction, know the difference between concave and convex lenses and explain the dispersion of light. Energy is the ability to do work. The forms of energy are light energy, sound energy, electrical energy, thermal energy, chemical energy, mechanical energy, and so on. And in this topic, we are going to be learning about light energy. Reflection. Reflection of light occurs when light strikes a surface and it bounces back. There are two forms of reflection. These are regular reflection and diffuse reflection. Regular reflection occurs when a parallel beam of light falls on a smooth or polished surface, e.g. glass, and is, and is reflected in the same direction. Now, when you shine your touch light on a smooth surface, like your mirror, you notice that this, the, touch, the light rays will be refle reflected back in the same direction that the light rays were incident on the mirror. This is called reflection, and it is regular reflection because um, the surface on which the light rays were incident is smooth and polished, like the mirror has a smooth and polished surface. So that's why it is a regular reflection. Diffused reflection occurs when a parallel beam of light falls on a rough or unpolished surface, e.g. clothes, and is reflected in different directions. Now this occurs when you shine a touch light on a piece of cloth that is spread maybe on a surface. You see that the light rays will not come back or return in the same direction in which they were incident. They will be reflected in a scattered direction, like they will spread out and not have a particular pattern. So that's why they are called diffuse reflection. Now, this the first diagram shows a um, sorry the first diagram shows light rays incident on a ro on a regular eh, sorry. The first, take two, take two, continue. the first diagram shows light rays incident on a smooth surface. This shows that the light rays were incident on a plane mirror. So, and it also also shows that the reflected rays were sent back, or the reflected the light was reflected back in the same direction and in the same parallel manner. But the second one shows that the incident rays were reflected on a rough surface, parallelly. But when they were reflected, they spread out. This is because the surface of the clothes is not smooth, so it will scatter the rays and make them go in different directions. So it will be diffused. Your face, like, your eyes, will not be able to like focus the reflected rays. Refraction. Refraction of light occurs when rays of light travel from a lighter medium to a thicker medium, or vice versa. Or, or it can vice versa in the sense that it can happen when light rays travel from a thicker medium to a lighter medium. So during this, the rays of light are bent. Now when light is incident from air, like when you shine a touch light in air and you shine it into a pool of water, you notice that it will look like the rays of light bent a little when they go to the boundary between the air and the pool of water. You notice that the angle of incidence between the incidence ray and the normal will be larger than the angle of ref reflection, sorry, than the angle of refraction between the angle of, between the refracted ray and the normal. So this diagram shows us how refraction occurs. The normal line is a line that is 90 degrees or perpendicular to the boundary between the two media. Then the incident ray is the ray of light that is shown in one media. And the refracted ray is the ray of light that is seen in the second media, in the second medium after it has passed the boundary between the two media. Reflection, refraction of light also occurs when rays of light fall on curved, smooth or polished surfaces called lenses. There are two types of lenses. These are concave or divergent lenses and convex or converging lenses. Concave or divergent lenses make rays of light spread out. When rays of light fall on concave or 